much indeed and a very warm welcome to Bloemfontein. The sun is out and I've got to tell you, the kids are already lining up, uh, getting ready to uh, uh, enjoy some of the uh, exhibition that's taking place here as National Science Week has uh, launched uh, at the University of the Free State uh, South Campus. And uh, these kids, I, I guess a lot of them, their minds are just going to be opened up to a whole new world of inquiry. Uh, the uh, uh, models and exhibitions uh, will show them various aspects aspects of science and technology and uh, that's what's happening here and uh, to talk us through some of the things that are happening in National Science Week across the country is uh, the Deputy Minister of Science and Technology uh, Ms. Zanele Kamagwaza Msibi. Thank you very much for joining us uh, and welcome to the program. Thank you very much, uh, Peter, and thank you very much for having me here. Good morning to all your viewers at home, and I'm very happy to be here. I'm excited. It is a sunny day. I'm happy that you're here also. And I'm also excited that so many young people have come to see, to open their minds, to see what science, technology, and innovation can do for them to change their lives for the better, their lives and the lives of all the citizens of this country, because most of the time, People at home say they don't know what science and technology innovation can do. They, we need to demystify science, technology and innovation. I'm glad that we are doing this. I'm glad that it is the 14th, 15th year that the Department of Science and Technology has been doing Science Week and I'm glad to be part of this launch today. All right, so we've just seen images of uh, young students coming into this exhibition, and we're in a very urban setting. But I know that one of the things that uh, you're passionate about is making sure that this message gets spread into the rural areas and also to young female learners. That is very important. One of my responsibilities in the Department of Science and Technology is to ensure that we strengthen the partnership between us and other departments because our department is not an implementing department. That is why we do not have sister departments in provinces, but we have entities that we're working with. Therefore, our role is to come up with new solutions, to come up with new innovations, implement them, have pilots, so that when we see that it is actually working, other line functioning departments will take it then and roll it out. I am glad that we are here today and I've seen so many young people and I've seen a beautiful young uh, engineer who is here and this is why we are ensuring that we are here and we have science centers throughout the country so that we make science accessible to the people on the ground so that they, they begin to appreciate and then take interest into doing science and, 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 and technology technology, more especially black women, because they are very scarce in this department. I think it is our function, and I'm glad that uh, we have set uh, millions of rent. I think it's about 490 million rents that we have set aside to ensure that we give out bursaries, because our role is to ensure that we produce more women researchers, we produce more uh, women scientists, and we cannot do that unless we reach out and attract them to come and participate so that we'll be able to create a knowledge-based community. How can we reach those in the rural communities particularly? Because I, I reckon there's young people walking around with high IQs that perhaps won't get fully tapped into. Uh, what we are doing as a department, besides having a science centers or science hubs throughout the country to make science accessible to the people, but also we are partnering with the Department of Education, basic education, for instance, telecommunication and communication. There are schools where we have provided mobile kits. This year we provided, we provided about 700 mobile kits to about 12 schools in the Eastern Cape to ensure that they connect with each other and connect with uh, they, they, they are educators and the communities and there is wireless mesh network that we are providing in different provinces so that our young people get to know, uh, they get information, they, 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 they get interested into science. That is what we are doing to ensure that we attract them all over the country so that they participate and be able to, to, to see the change in their lives. Because science and technology is fundamental in changing the people's life. It is fundamental 
fundamental. It is key in, in, in growing the economy of our country. That is why it remains very important that we attract as many as we can so that they participate and, 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 as, as, and, and be able to, 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 to get the product out of it. Well, we certainly wish you the very best of luck and thank you for uh, spending a few minutes with us and sharing your thoughts with us at the beginning of such an important week. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. All right. Okay. And that's where